It's time to lawyer up. We're talking Better Call Saul. I'm Dex. This is Shannon. And uh, every week we're joined with Matt O'Neill. Thanks for having White me back. White Law. Yes. And look at the shirt he's wearing. I can't believe Jimmy's you planned shirt. that. I did not see this Gosh. coming. It was by accident. Come on. Hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> lawyer. You're my, lawyering up right now. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> I want to be Saul. Uh, see, there you go. That's exactly <laughs> nice. like yours. That's you amazing. Look Your wife did a great job. She did. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> All right, uh, well, we got some questions to ask you, so we're going to roll the first clip, and uh, we got a question to ask you about uh, this first clip here. Please, just don't tell anyone about the money. I can't take a bribe. Who would know? We won't tell anyone. I can't take it. I can't take it, please. Didn't you say that you wanted to help us? Just pretend you never saw the money. How hard is that? Take it. Take it. I can't, I can't take a bribe, but <clears throat> you know what, I can't, I can't take a retainer. A retainer? Why not? I'm sorry, you're just... Uh, just what? You're the kind of lawyer guilty people hire. That clip makes me sad every time. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he okay, tried no. to sell himself. Uh, Matt, did uh, did he break any laws there? Because he, him knowing that it was the money was illegal, you know, did he? Could he accept that money? Yeah, you can't take a bribe. One, yeah. obviously, and number two, you can't take money that's stolen that you know to be stolen. You couldn't take his compensation, something you know is illegal or contraband. Even Plus, though, as a retainer. I, even as a retainer, obviously oh. not. I think that would actually be worse. Okay. But, no, maybe I don't know if it's worse. The bribe's probably the worst to change your testimony or to modify it. But what's even more disturbing, of course, is 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 he offers to be to be retained by them, and when he does that, he's actually violating ethical rules because I don't think there's any confidentiality of any of that. Mm -hmm. um, it's no longer a confidential conversation when they weren't. Ha it wasn't happening to be retained. They weren't seeking advice of counsel. They were just caught. Yeah. He broke bad. He broke bad. Jimmy McGill broke bad. That was bad, Jimmy. Almost Saul. A little bit of Saul. Yes. Jimmy's Starting good. Jimmy's heroic. <laughs> Saul's a little bad. Starting to come out. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, let's roll this next clip, and then Shannon has a question for you. He wants me to change my name because he claims that, the, what, it's some kind of threat to his business? Your Honor. This is restraint of trade, okay? Whatever happened to the free market, huh? I do have a question. Is that really illegal because he didn't do something that bad, did he? Well, I, yeah, I think it looks like some kind of trademark infringement to me. I mean, I'm not a specialist in that area. I do personal injury. But, I mean, clearly you're not allowed to use somebody else's labeling or branding or, or special slogans, and that's clearly what he's done. The judge obviously makes the right ruling there. Oh, okay. Well, I was for Jimmy. Oh, okay. <laughs> it seemed to go too far, didn't it? Yeah, Jimmy looked great, too. That suit. That <laughs> hair, you mean? That, that like, the hair. hair? Yes. Yeah. Good call. So good. That's pretty classic stuff. I mean, because obviously he's setting up the other guy. Yes. And that's where we all get trapped. We think he's actually kind of serious about trying to market. Yeah. And the story twists yeah. twist on us. Yes. And that's what's great. Right? Yeah. 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 It's all good, men. He's really smart. It's all good, men. Get it. Get Did it. It's get all that? good, men. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> what? Brilliant. It's all good, men. It's yeah, all good, men. It's all good. I just made that up. Did you really? Yes. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Convincing. Warrior, right. is this true? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it. let's. Uh, we got a we got a new thing we want to do with you. Okay. Okay. It's called Fun Lightning game. Lawyer. Bum bum bum. Okay. What does that mean? It's a lightning round of questions. You, of course, just answer them as quickly as you can. You have 30 seconds or less to answer these questions. It's very simple. Okay. But, you know, we're going to make sure that we, you know, the questions are appropriate. Okay. okay. Oh, are you ready man. to do this? All right. First question: <laughs> Do prosecutors refer clients to public defenders? Um, yeah, I, I think that happens. I, I don't think there's anything inappropriate about it. Um, when you have a prosecutor, though, they're not, often not in contact with the criminal defendant. Um, but everyone's mostly going to get a lawyer with ex a handful of exceptions. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I, I, I think it happens. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what about Chuck? Was he in the wrong when he took the newspaper, but he left $5? <laughs> and that's a big deal. So, oh. Um, oh. I mean, obviously, technically, I guess it's 
stealing, right? It's larceny. Even though he wasn't gave his taking newspaper, something. Shannon. Darn it! Will but he you? did leave his money. Right. I doubt anyone really thinks that's Five a crime in the, in the spirit of things. Yeah. But I guess it's a technical violation of the letter of the law. Okay. Uh, last question: Can you fight an injunction with a PR war? You know, that's. I'd be interested to see what the order said. Obviously, to answer that question. But um, when you are enjoined from doing something or blocked from doing it, obviously he's not following the spirit of the court's order by bringing a camera out there and filming him with the announcement or the advertisement and then trying to use it to get more clients. So he's clearly in, in violation probably of the spirit of the order, depending on what the order said. The judge in the chambers just said, you got 48 hours to take that down. And I guess he's technically complied with that order. Does Whitener take bribes? No. Good. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been offered a bribe, but I don't think I'd accept one. It just wouldn't be worth risking your license over. Good. Good man. So, uh, Matt O'Neill, Whitener Law. You guys, if you need them, you call them up. Whitener Law, they, they know exactly how to help you, right? I mean, yes. you, you guys have all the answers, all the questions to their answer, answers to their questions. Shannon, never mind. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I kind of feel bad for you, but at the same time, I didn't understand, like, that question that you asked him at also in layman's terms, maybe we can go back after and during commercial break and you can explain that to me again. <laughs> this All has right. been fun. All right, we're, uh, we're out of here. That was our segment of lowering up and I'm drunk right now. So we're going to go. We're going to wrap things up. It next. was all that meth. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs>